housing affordability crisis, among other factors, has pushed the number of people living on the streets to dire levels. But far from accepting the situation, one inspirational Brisbane woman decided to help in a very practical way. Homelessness is a problem many of us see but feel can't be fixed. But young mum, Jean Madden, was determined to make a difference. Jean was volunteering to do community work when she came up with the idea to develop street swags. The street swag is made out of a high density foam mattress in a super lightweight, eight ounce, waterproofed canvas. The sheet or blanket comes over the top of you so that you are safe from the elements, let's say. It then rolls down into itself to become a backpack or over the shoulder bag. And importantly, it doesn't look like bedding. Yeah, that's the way. That's there you the go. Way. That's the best thing, see? real compact and you can hide it. For the guys to be able to have these that keep them safe, dry, warm and to be able to keep them with them is, is a brilliant concept. It's just, it's, it's just the best idea I've come across. You've only got to look around here and see the guys. They, well, everybody wants one. Last time we met, you actually made me a cup of coffee. <laughs> but it was very lovely of you, so I'm very I was grateful. watching a documentary on homelessness which really highlighted the detrimental effects that Sleeping Rough has on the body. Physically and mentally, it's such a fast downhill spiral and so taxing on the organs. And you can imagine yourself how hard it is not being able to get a good night's sleep. So I spoke to my husband about it and we decided we would do something about it. So it was the Monday morning that I woke up and just had this overwhelming sense of determination that I was going to do this. And my husband and I said, even if we have to sell the car, this is what we're going to do. Jean designed a prototype, but lacking the sewing skills, she needed some help from her mum. Each night I would jump into bed and have a feeling, an overwhelming sense that I had to thank God for my cosy warm bed. And then Jean rang me and said, Mum, I want to make swags for the homeless. And I said, yeah, sure, that's fine. Because I knew um, that, you know, God was preparing me for it. And luckily, Jean and her mum also have a little help these days. We were approached by um, a gentleman from um, um, Woodford Correctional uh, Centre uh, who wanted to put the project to the board um, and ask them if the prisoners could start making the swag. So Jean and I went out there. Um, from then on, they started making them. Meeting Jean and the volunteers is an inspiration and it shows what can happen when a community pulls together. Yeah, a couple of afternoons a week here at school at Nudgee we uh, roll up about 20, 25 swags and we put a blanket inside and hand them out to the people around Australia. People who I meet who are using the street swag are just so incredibly grateful. Grateful that someone cares, grateful that you know, this iconic swaggy they can relate to. And it gives them a sense of confidence, purpose, dignity, all these things that are so important that so many of us take for granted. Yeah, just a great story all around that one. Now, if you want to find out more about Jean's street swag ID, you can log on to her website, streetswags.org. And we'll be back after this.